So that's the sort of most basic application of the four elements, if you will, that we can actually go into different modes as a coach. If, if we're not getting a result, we're not really serving the client uh, with one mode, our habitual mode, so fucking change, right? Like, do something different if that's not working. That's the most simple one. So we combine that with working with the client with the four elements. So not only can I change myself, I can help the client move through different ways of being. Um, in this case, very simple for brainstorming. So we're not doing a hardcore theme of you know, existential meaning in your life. It just, I'm just looking for a practical problem, a yeah, practical challenge that you want some ideas on. So I want something real, nothing hardcore. Um, someone said, uh, how should I choose which car to buy? Or how should I choose which area to move when I'm moving house? So give me three examples of a practical challenge you have in your life that you genuinely want some new ideas for. So let's make this real, not acting. So something that you want a few more new ideas about in your life. Maybe something you're a bit stuck on. So nothing too hard I'll get three ideas and I'll pick one. Uh, like when I um, try to do business, I am not uh, for a very long time I was like searching internet, learning marketing, internet marketing and all this and uh, it was not happening and it was before, like a few years ago. What would you like? <coughs> what? what? What's the practical thing you would like? Um, ideas to... Sorry, I'm not very clear. Uh, how to move to, uh, to actually um, action. How to move into action? Yes. Okay, great. So that would strike me probably as a sort of fiery place to go but I could get some really good ideas from other ones. I could work with that. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for more just like a brainstorming one. This, this probably suggests a very specific way to go. Could be, could be different. James, you know what? I just, I've, got a, I've just recently started a bunch of classes last year, and I've suddenly got a shitload more people yeah. to deal with. I normally deal one-on-one -on -one with people, yeah. now I've got like 50 people coming to classes, and I've got like so much admin and paperwork in yeah. it, and I'm putting it off, and I'm not How doing to it. deal with the paperwork? Yeah, basically, that's what it is. I can totally work with that. That's super, super practical. There's one other idea over here, yet. Yeah. Um, I work with a bunch of designers who are who are terrified at the thought of being creative. Yeah. So I need ideas for how to inspire them how to, to inspire actually them. be creative. How to inspire them to be creative. Okay, it's great. Interesting. I think I'm going to pick this one, just because I've worked with you before, and this one's kind of specific. I could definitely could work with either of those, but... Let's go with this one just because I don't really sort of know you and I want something clean out of the bag. Cool. Yeah. yeah Come on up. So your name, sir, yeah. is Sean? Sean. Yeah. Sean. Okay. So uh, you can stand there. So other people do not interfere, right? So I don't want anyone to ask you questions in the middle. Afterwards, you can ask questions about the process, but we're not going to ask him questions or give him advice or anything like that. It's too many people. Um, if you could be neutral, and that's actually a bit of an exercise in itself. Um, so if you're like whispering to each other or messing around or whatever, it's going to really take away from what I'm doing. So just pay like attention in a generally kind of empathic, fairly neutral kind of way. So that would really support him, him and me in this process. Um, so for you, uh, are you filming this? Yeah, cool. So you have to be okay with this being on the internet. Is that okay or should we turn the camera no, on? No, that's good. Cool. sure with that? You don't have to. My inspire them if they say Okay, that. cool. That's <laughs> like, yes. Uh, the other thing is still the same rules apply. You don't have to do anything you know to. So just because this is a demo, the person that's still being served is you. I might occasionally say something to them, but when you're being served, if there's something that's not comfortable, you don't have to. Is that clear? Yep. Right. You're not committing to a course of action here. So all we're doing is the first part, which is sort of like looking at ideas. Make sense? Yep. Cool. Take a breath. Ah, tell me the challenge in one sentence. Take a you need. How do you tell people who are ex supposedly experts in creativity. Yeah. That they're not being creative. Great. And inspire them to actually take some risks. So how do you, so it's a new person you're right, how do you inspire this team to be creative and take risks? Yes. Is that a sort of short yeah. simple question? Yeah. Is that fair exactly. summary? So how do you inspire them to be creative and take risks? Yes. Okay, great. So he's probably tried some things already, right? He's probably done some stuff. So we're gonna go through four elements, get four different ways of your body, and you might find some new ideas. Yeah, none of them would be, you know, it's not committed to any of them, some of them you might have already tried, some of them might be new. Um, yeah, should we roll? Yeah, cool. sounds good. Okay, so let's do earth first of all, so kind of structured, bend the knees a bit. <clears throat> okay, make a box. Great. Palms down for a minute, throw your feet on the ground. 
could you make a plan to do this? Yes. Okay. What's the traditional way of doing this? Send them on a training course. Okay. How would structures and boundaries help with this work? Structure. I think at the moment there's a lack of structure in the agency and that right. it would help them to respect it mm -hmm. and understand that it's not a choice. Got it. <coughs> hmm. Anything else from this earth point of view? Any other ideas that just come up to you when we're in this mode? I feel like uh, if, there, if there is a box, it's kind of on its side. So actually there is some structure, but it's kind of formed that way and it needs to kind of be reorientated maybe. One idea for that, for reorientating the box. Restructure the company, which is what, what we're trying to do. Okay, great, so we could do about the structure. Cool, so any ideas there, just make a mental note. Yeah, that you think, okay, that could be one for the future, might want to look at that one again. Oh, sure. <sighs> Useful already? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. definitely. Sometimes you hit straight away. We'll do that. Okay. Uh, one at the back. And weight on the back leg slightly. Palms open. There we go. And relax the chest. Say ah. Ah. That's it. Ah. Ah. What do you need to be open to around this? Just that people are shy. Ah. Okay. And they don't all want to play happy, happy families and, you know. Maybe there's some fear. Yeah. Being empathic to the fear and the difficulty around doing that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and actually, maybe that being one of the biggest biggest hurdles that you know people are scared, scared of change, and you know. can be sympathetic to that. Okay. And uh, if I hold your arms from behind, can, can I? Yeah, yeah. So uh, relax here. And what you do is, is relax your shoulders. Okay. Let's give me a <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, that's interesting. So really very heavy on the arms, so you just, that's it, totally relaxed, like you're made of jelly, like you're drunk. Okay, yeah, that's it, okay. What support do you need around this? Um, I need the leadership team in the company to actually get behind me in. Is there a request you can make for support? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I think uh, asking them to tell people that what's going on, instead of it kind of being me trying to so tell them why it's you, yeah, you need some support. Okay, and what do you need to let go of? So notice that muscle there, it's not letting go, so do that again. So relax, and this time go, ah, oh. does that make sense? Uh, yep. Oh. Yeah, still, this is still tense, so one more. <laughs> well, we'll really let go, what do you need to let go around this project? It's not all on me. It's not all on me, okay. So you might need to let in, try this one again, let in a bit of support. Who could you connect with? Who could help you with this? Who's like a good person who might have good ideas, good advice? Relational. I don't know, I think that's, I think that's, you know, I need someone. Okay, it's a good question. Someone right? who's got that kind of shared mission and shared values, but maybe is outside of the company. Got it, so maybe finding support from outside the company who kind of knows some shared values, some shared ideas, and go, right, how do you do this? Yeah, like yeah. anyone in the world has ever had this problem. <laughs> I'm sure. But no, no, exactly. Like I think, and I think that's what I don't have within the company. That kind of I don't know anyone who kind of shares the shares the urgency and the passion. Right. So you might need to connect to someone to, to connect with someone from outside the company that you know, has kind of been there and done it. And yeah. Sounds pretty logical. It's funny how easy this logically seems to talk to our body. Mental note, any of those for the future? Okay, so we're fire. So I've been forward, kind of done this for me already. Sometimes I work with a client that hasn't done it already, I just show them the shape, you know. So hand it. Okay, say this. Okay, say not this. This, not this. Okay, even more time pain. This, not this. This, not this. Okay, what do you need to cut away with this? The bullshit. Okay. So what's the bullshit? What's the bullshit to cut away? Just like they're about, like all the designers are blokes. They all yeah. they're all like go around like think they're big big badasses yeah, yeah, and yeah. you know and we've got like a, an amazing client service team of yeah. women and there's just this ridiculous kind of like gender bullshit thing. Okay, so it's like that. That's not okay here. Yeah. Let's just do this one. 
Okay, that's it. Yeah, really look at me. Put your hand up a little bit, turn towards me. Great, so keep that pressure there. Come, put your weight forward. That's it, that's it. Don't lean on me, but just push there. Look up. Okay, tell me what the bullshit is. Lokiness. So, so don't smile. It's fucking up your business. It's, no, it's not like laughing, is it? Okay, so what do you need to say no to? No more bullshit. No more bullshit. Okay, no more bullshit. Okay, great. One more for fire here. Little back bend. Little back bend. Okay, so can I just close up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> that is a good head back. Ah! Good. Open it over there. Take your arms to the side. So here, yeah, what, where's the passion for you in this? Ah, where's the passion for you in this project? I mean, for me, it's kind of yeah, keep there, keep there. <laughs> for me, it's everything. It's like how can you be a creative agency you if you're not fucking yeah, creative? For fuck's sake, this is like central. To yeah, me, yeah. Right? Like what? Like why do we bother? Right. Okay, great. So don't be fast, but you kind of you go to this English body, but it's really like this. It's like, hey, come on. Why are we bothering otherwise? Yeah. Totally. Good. Yeah. Good job. The idea is just you take those, put some aside for later. Okay, there. That's the big picture here. That's the big picture. I did you up. <laughs> yep. Hey, what's the big picture? <laughs> what's the huge big picture? I think it's just like this amazing, you know, office, not even an office, like a studio where we can just be, like, have fun and play and. Like create cool shit and want to get out of bed in the morning because we want to carry on working, not because we have to. You smell good for that boy. <laughs> yeah, it's just like yeah. I, I want people to feel like this. I want people to feel, you know, full of possibilities and creative and be like, I fucking love working here. You know, you don't need to be fun, right? Yeah, yeah. A little bit of play. How could you have more play in this in this, in this challenge? What would be a more playful way of approaching it? <laughs> Rather than be like, oh, fucking people have done the credible do the fucking wrong with them. Like, what could be like more kind of playful way of looking at it? Next time, I don't know. <laughs> so what could be a fun, great play? I think, I think like, if you, if you just get people out of the office and, you know, you make you do this, you make them be physical, you make them get play with each other. Get them playful out of the office and they naturally have credit. Like, yeah, so exactly. <laughs> Do something creative. Oh, okay, my desk. So, <laughs> so if you get them moving, get that's, them doing totally, that's totally like you know. It looks like it's a Victorian mill because everyone's sat behind their, their MacBook. Every, you know, they're all graphic designers, so they're plugged in, headphones on, and it's right. so yeah. Like so we what's the idea here to move to Northern California? Take acid together. Okay. And drop mushrooms. Yeah. I mean, you know, in all seriousness, it's yeah. like it's like bring some colour in, change things, like get yeah. people out, you know, get people up and out. Right, because you can't be creative, can you? Unless no, you've got some like, sort of new stimulus like or like to get out, and out of that environment. Yeah. And then, this is and creative at the camp, you will be creative on schedule, yeah? Exactly. Okay, so what happened now? I just So um, and how can, why is this not important at all? How can how is this just doesn't matter? Do this, just do oh, oh, like in in what way is this funny? In what way is this stupid, silly, funny? It doesn't matter at all. I mean, the fucking fact that I have to tell them <laughs> the fact that we're a creative agency and it's You're like telling them to be creative. Yeah, me. yeah. <laughs> okay. and, I, and I think you know where it's going. And like. If you're not here to do that, why are you? Okay, so there's a, almost a funny side to this. Like, hey guys, this is ridiculous. <laughs> do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like bringing a lightness to it rather than a you're wrong, right? Lightness. I'm like, come on, we're creative. What else? So, what's so scary? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nothing scary from a free point of view. No. Whew. Oh. Oh, got a shake. Good work, sir. Good work. Um, which was the best of those ideas? So we went through. Let's go through again. The earthy stuff. The water is the plan, and the structuring, and then the water. What do you remember about the water one? The, I'm getting support from someone else. Yeah, personally that yeah. resonates quite a lot. That one. Okay, the fiery ones, like cut the bullshit, match the crap. I think that's kind of, um, I don't struggle to turn that one on. Yeah. Okay. I, think, I think the contrast between the earth and air, for me and for the business as a whole, it's yeah. like, it's that earth, but like in the wrong shape. <laughs> like some, like some, like some yeah. kind of like, some shit that's been like compounded and pressed together and uh, you know it's, it's been unearthed and it's kind of like could be this amazing thing but it's not and it's kind of getting away from that and all of that history and yeah, compound yeah. and everything else and just, just being yeah just being like 
Yeah. Is it one or two ideas you could take forward? I'm not asking you to make a decision on it right now, but one or two ideas you might want to just like write down right away, like while I'm chatting to everyone else, that might be like worth remembering. Absolutely. Can yeah. you tell me one or two? Which two? I think number one, like take people out of the office. Okay, great. Don't try, don't try and tell them to change yeah. in, in that environment. Yeah, great. Support their creativity with some freedoms and movements and new, new input. Yeah. And one more idea that we thought, okay, that's fine. Find, find someone who can support me, who's, yeah. who's kind of like a mentor. Or great, or, from outside. Yeah, great. And, and can give me like the mental support, I suppose, mm. to, to keep, you know, keep fighting that. Got it. And if I was like coaching more, I would start looking at accountability and what exactly you're going to do and normal coaching stuff, but I want to leave it there. So if you want to write down any of those ideas, we're, not, we're going to leave you alone for a little bit, then I'm going to ask your opinion in a bit, yeah? So thank you very much. Well done. Good round of applause. Yeah. So fairly straightforward is coaching. You can see several more of those on online, uh, on YouTube, for example. Um, not like super embodiment type guy, right? You're not like sort of dancing every night and doing yoga every morning. No, no, no. Um, it's kind of always working. I thought fairly straightforward. A lot of, like some of my clients who work in tech sector, for example, pretty practical kind of problem in some ways. Um, so the methodology was just taken out of this habitual embodiment because if that had worked, he would have had the solution by now, right? So take them into some new embodiments. The questions, no, I don't have a list. I just get into the embodiment myself and I ask relevant questions. And some of them are classic, some of them are not. Um, it's not a methodology for each element. So for example, one time I'm working in Russia and I'm working with a business guy who's also a karate teacher. And for fire, I'm just beating on him. Boom. And he's like, yes, <laughs> No, I'm not going to do that, for sure. It's not his style, right? Uh, with water, you know, there's all sorts of things I can do, like hold someone's head or, you know, move with them in a dance. You know, for earth, I might get them marching up and down or sitting down. You know, you can do a more moderate version, just like I might say to clients, sit like this. I won't even say for a moment, so I might say, sit like this.